Level 14 resembles a neon mall from the 1980s. The mall is spread across thousands of miles. The most critical areas, named blocks, are lettered from A to Z, after which the block system will use numbers instead. Inside these secured blocks, entities have been eradicated by humans, leading to the establishment of the Entity Exclusion Zone that was inside the block system. You will find many stores spread out across the mall. These stores are littered with supplies and gear. The mall has two completely identical floors and houses lines of stores. The stores themselves resemble shopping centers, restaurants, and clothing stores. Each store has a mini-map of the current area and where you are for easy navigation. The stores hold a variety of supplies that can help with survival and your journey through the back rooms. You can find these stores throughout the level, but it is not recommended to claim a store without confirming it is safe. Stores can contain entities and other potential dangers. Additionally, there are intersections between blocks that display sleek wooden railings and ocean blue tiling. You may also find doors labeled staff only, multiversing the crossings. Opening these doors exits the level. You can get around the level in security buggies that you can find near any escalator. You can find elevators near the lobby areas of the mall, near the bathrooms. The elevator will most likely take you to the second floor, but on occasion you can travel to level 13 or level 4. Upon arrival, the elevator will shudder. The further you stray from the central blocks, the more the mall deteriorates in quality. This can be observed in many ways. Notable examples of such deterioration are paint chipping, shattered glass displays, and misplaced equipment. If you venture far enough, you may find yourself surrounded by foliage and rundown stores still flickering with neon light. The contents of the farther regions of level 14 have never been documented. However, it is assumed that the building retains its deteriorated state throughout the rest of the level. The more recent observations of level 14 have yielded results. The further blocks of the level have been observed to be covered in snow during certain days. It is unknown where the snow comes from, but it is hazardous due to the large entity group surrounding it, and the below freezing temperatures inside the blocks coated in snow. When first arriving in level 14, you may find yourself needing supplies for trade and survival in general. It is suggested you bring almond water, food, and items that might be of value to a person. It is also suggested to get some secure storage options, because theft occurs frequently. There are lots of valuable resources to be found on level 14. They can be divided into three categories, supplies, items, and objects. Supplies are things such as food, water, and other basic survival necessities. Items are considered to be valuable tools such as flares, weaponry, and amenities. Often you can find them in intersections or stores just past the entity exclusion zone. Objects are the rarest potential spoils of the level. You cannot see objects inside level 14. You may only find objects by traveling very far from the Entity Exclusion Zone. They can be located inside stores, usually guarded by entities. The objects themselves can range from boxes of edible Amartya fruit to artifacts like entangled batteries. It is advised to stay for a while if you need to restock on supplies or items, then move on to the next level. If you are dedicated to level 14, you should follow the Grand Mercantile Guild process and set up your store. The Grand Mercantile Guild is a group of 50 people who initially discovered Level 14. They were the first to set up a basic trading system, and are the governing force of Level 14. It is always welcoming to new archivists. They push for a future where Level 14 is the main base of supplies and resources for other archivists, and a functioning society to thrive on Level 14. If you want to start trading in Level 14, you must register with the Grand Mercantile Guild and get a product license to start a trade shop. You can find the guild in Block A, where they will grant you the equipment needed to start trading, and food supplies if needed. They will take a 5% cut of your overall gain from trade, so some archivists choose to refrain from joining the guild. The idea of the trade is that of an adage, scratch my back and I will scratch yours. It has proven itself to be a successful system in level 14. The UNCB is allied with the guild, allowing for resources to be traded between the two groups to keep both thriving inside the back rooms. While the UNCB has not built an outpost inside of level 14, they are currently planning to in the future. If you wander outside of the Entity Exclusion Zone, you risk running into hostile entities and face death. You should only explore if you are mapping an area that will potentially be integrated into the block system. If you wish to scout out level 14 and contribute to the establishment of level 14's communities, you are invited to join the scouting division. They scope out near areas outside of the blocks, deeming them worthy of expansion or not. 
Archivists who are desperate for supplies are advised to join because they hand out rations and almond water. If you do join the scouting division, then be prepared to map new areas, fight against entities, and run. One of the entrances to level 14 can be accessed by entering an elevator on level 13. You can find this elevator at many locations within the forever expanding halls of level 13. When you do, press the up button and the doors will close. When the doors open, you will arrive in block A of level 14. You can also find a dome-shaped mall on level 11. It has a massive sign in front that says Megaplex. Once you enter the front doors, you will find yourself in level 14. When exploring level 4, you may come across a staircase. It will have a red railing and EDM music reverberating above. When you walk up the stairs for about 10 flights, opening the steel doors should transport you to block A of level 14. Be careful on the stairs because entities like to lurk there. Make sure you do not open any of the doors until you have reached 10 flights of stairs. If you open doors before this point, you will instead arrive at level 1. Passing through the front of one of the stone arches atop level 15 will lead through an identical stone arch in an abandoned shop in level 14. You can exit the level by looking around for an elevator in any of the main blocks. Once you find this elevator, you can enter and press the up button. You will either be taken to level 13 or level 4. Occasionally, you may end up on the second floor of level 14. In any of the blocks, you can come across a shopping store called Midtown. If you walk inside, you will be inside the clothing store. When you exit, you will arrive on one of the streets of level 12. In the intersection between blocks, when you open the door labeled Staff Only, the back rooms will take you to level 4 or level 3 after walking through the doorframe. Some abandoned shops contain carved stone arches which lead to level 15. There is also an assumed exit inside of the snow blocks, although not much is known about it at this time. 